friends, it's Emmeline. I cannot believe it, but today is my bridal shower. This lighting is like super bright right now. So I cannot believe that today is my bridal shower. I feel like I've gone to so many bridal showers and helped plan so many. So it's just very surreal that it's actually mine today. I thought I would do like a little bit of a get ready with me because you guys are always asking for me to do these and I just never do. So if you guys don't care about like me getting ready and showing makeup products and hair products and stuff like that, then feel free to skip forward to the vlog portion. So I think I'm gonna start with my makeup first. That way I can just like keep my hair out of my face and then we will do my hair. All right, I have my little setup. This is so fun. I've never done one of these before. This is kind of exciting. All right, so for my foundation, since my skin has been feeling like a little dry, um, I just kind of want like a light layer of foundation. So I'm gonna mix this. This is from Drunk Elephant. It's their polypeptide cream. And I love it the way that this comes out because you just like push this. Oh. I just squirted. And then I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I use this in the shade Light Medium. Um, I usually am not a drugstore foundation person, like I've always liked the higher end brands. But recently I got this one and um, I really ended up liking it. And I feel like it was so inexpensive, so I'm just using this one for now. But I thought I would um, kind of update you guys. So the last video I posted was about Connor and I buying a house and you guys were so nice in the comments and so supportive and so sweet. So thank you guys so much. Um, and then in that video, I said that, um, in the beginning of my videos, I thought it'd be fun to like put a Bible verse or something like that. So I was thinking more and more about it. And I think that what I might do instead is Instead of doing like a Bible verse at the beginning, I think I might do like a little devotional at the end of the videos just because I feel like it might be more helpful than just putting like a Bible verse in. I thought I would try that out. Let me know what you guys like better though. Um, the next thing I thought I would mention to you guys is one of my YouTube friends. Her name is Lauren. She is so adorable and she has like the most beautiful hair in the world. I always stare at it on Instagram. She um, has a YouTube channel too and she does a ton of wedding videos. So if you guys want some more like wedding inspiration, like she does a lot of like videos that are actually like helpful. Um, like mine are more like vlog style where I take you guys along, but hers are like super helpful and she gives you like advice and stuff. So you guys should definitely check out her channel. She is so sweet and we've become friends through Instagram. I wish that she lived in New York because it would be so awesome to just hang out with her. But um, I'm gonna leave her link down below for her channel so you guys can go watch her videos because she is so cute. I'm gonna use the Hula Bronzer and then Dandelion for my blush. And then I'm using the Naked Urban Decay Cherry Palette and I'm gonna use this shade for the highlight because it is so gorgeous. This month I also need to test out my wedding makeup because I'm doing my own hair and makeup for the wedding, which um, I'm very excited about because it's really therapeutic for me to just like sit and do my hair and makeup. I love it. Okay, I have to whisper because Connor is on the phone right now with his cousin. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned this before, but his cousin is actually the one who is going to be our officiant for the wedding. So they're just like talking about wedding stuff right now. Kind of ironic that I'm doing this video and they're doing that. But um, actually that reminds me, I had my first like wedding stress dream the other night. I had a dream that his cousin like didn't show up. Connor had planned that he wanted to walk down the aisle after me. I don't know why he would ever do that, but that was my dream and I was freaking out and it was a mess. But I'm not stressed out for the wedding. I feel like I'm like pretty chill about everything. So I don't know why I had that stress dream, but that was a bad dream. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go in with the eyes. So generally what I do is um, I'll take like hot spot and just go all over my lid. Then I take juicy and I go in my crease and then I take feels and I go in um, my crease again, but a little bit more towards like the outer corner. And then I'll go in with devilish on the like absolute outer corner of my eye. And if I want it a little bit more dramatic, I'll either take like drunk dial or young love and just like put it in the corners. And then I put privacy underneath my eyes. So 
I just wanted to tell you guys that super quick that way I can like stop talking so he can have his conversation so I also just remember I'm still whispering because he's, he's still on the phone but um when Gabby came over last so many of you guys were asking about our ASMR video and you guys keep commenting on it on like every post like post the video but the video quality like the audio came out so bad like you can barely hear anything um maybe like at the end of this video or like right now we'll add like some of the clips from it because it was it was so funny but it was so bad her and i definitely like need to get together and film it again maybe we can do something like at my bachelorette party we can like film it i don't know her and i are always talking about asmr that's like what we're texting about right now we just said that they should have like an asmr wedding or something but anyway i'm gonna get back to finishing my eyes and hopefully he'll be off the phone by then so i can talk a little louder so i feel super hip and trendy because i got the glossier boy brow i got mine in the shade brown um i love this stuff and if you guys are looking for like a new brow product this is so good and i just think it's like the easiest thing in the world so i'm going to do this for my brows my next step is mascara I use the Voluminous Voluminous Lash Paradise. So I'm just gonna apply this super quick. My next step is lips. So I usually either use the NYX lip pencil in, I think it's just the shade natural and then, or I'll use the Koki Professional. I have no idea what brand this is. This is in the shade Dusty Rose. They're both pretty much the same color. It's like my lip color, but just slightly darker. But I'm going to use the NYX one. These are such inexpensive lip pencils, and the color is great. So I don't know where my favorite lipstick is. It's the Urban Decay Cherry in the shade Connor. <laughs> in the uh, color juicy I can't find it and it's so weird because I wear it all the time so I don't know where I would have put it but I'm just gonna use the Urban Decay High Shine Midnight Cowgirl <laughs> it's kind of just like a, a basic like pinky tone lip gloss Ah, oh, now I just, it wasn't recording when I did that. You look great either way. I just said, I'm to finish it off, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I already sprayed my face, so I'm not gonna spray it again. For my hair today, I am going to just curl it. I've been using like a new hair system and it has made my hair so nice. I feel like it's kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but it's like so shiny and i feel like it just brought out like all of my natural highlights like my hair just looks so pretty lately like i just love it um it looks like a little fluffy right now because i just brushed it so on top of the new hair care system i also got some like new products so when my hair was damp last night i put this blowout cream in it this is the monat monate i have no idea how to say it um this is like their styling cream and it's basically like a styling cream, but also a heat protector. So you just put it in when your hair is damp and then it protects it from the heat once it's dry. And then I also put in this split end mender because I'm trying to grow my hair uh, for the wedding. I feel like my hair is like growing really fast. If you guys want an updated hair care routine, let me know and I will totally do that for you guys. But um, right now I'm gonna use the sleek um curling wand i do have a 50 percent off code for this and this is my favorite curling wand i've been using this um since like october and it's just my favorite thing in the whole world so i'm basically just doing the typical uh beachy waves so just basically wrapping my hair back and i only let my hair sit on here for like just a few seconds and then i take it out and i hold it and then I let it fall. So my hair is fully cooled. So this is the part I basically just make my hair super messy and I just like tossle it and throw it all over the place because I feel like the messier 
you make your hair, the better it looks. So I just played around with my hair and I decided to just do a little half up, half down. I am all ready for the bridal shower. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have Connor hold the camera so I can show you guys what the dress looks like from top to bottom. So this is the dress. I got it from Stelly.com. It's like an Australian website, but I love the bottom. It's so cute. It has like these little frills. It's a little bit longer in the back. My shoes are from Forever 21. I got them on sale for $13. And then, of course, I had to throw a vintage bag into it. All right, guys, we just got here. I'm with Gabby. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, too. Oh, no, we got, like, all these steps to go up, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're both wearing... Look how so cute fun. she looks. Gossip Girl inspired. Oh, my gosh, it does look like Gossip Girl. I love it. I've been here. Connor is so sweet and he just brought me flowers to the shower. Yes. I'm a whistle. And Brianna. Hi. We're the bridesmaids. Come in the mirror with me. Hi. Brianna's stupid hat. <laughs> She's my life. Wow, what, a, what an aesthetic. This is well, let's take a picture. Connor's got Annabelle. I think I Hi. I have no feeling. Gonna get off. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness, you guys. I just got home. I feel like I barely got any footage from the shower because, and I'm sure this is how people feel at their weddings. Like, I was just saying hi to everybody, like, the whole time and, like, hi, Willie. I was just trying to, like, keep up with everyone and everything like that. But, oh my goodness. It was such an amazing night. So, it's the next morning. I'm about to head off to church. I am so exhausted from yesterday but it was such an amazing day and if you guys are watching this who came thank you guys so much you guys made yesterday such a special day for me and i'm so excited for the wedding it's crazy because now everything is happening so fast i feel like once you have your bridal shower then everything just happens right after that so i'm just so excited and so thankful for all of this stuff everyone got me i have to go through all of this now and try to pack it up for the new house but before i pack it up like i said i will do a haul for you guys um which should be up next week so this video i feel like is so all over the place um i know i said that i just like did an ending clip but i wanted to do my little like daily devo for you guys for this video and then also like i said i would put the asmr um portion of gabby and i's video at the end of this one so um be sure to stay tuned until the very end for that clip so i thought i would do a little devotional on peace so micah 55 says he will be our peace and i know for me recently there's been so much going on between the house, the wedding, trying to plan um, like all of the things that go along with the wedding. And even just in the past, I feel like 
I was always I was such an anxious person like this is no surprise you guys know this I had such bad anxiety in the past and I think that when you're anxious or when you're stressed and you have all these things going on it's so easy to like focus on your stress and anxiety and it's so easy to forget that we do have God on our side and he will bring peace to us and happiness and I think that a lot of the times like like it's like the verse that says be still and know um I think that sometimes when we're really anxious or stressed out or just there's a lot going on I think that we tend to want to do more things to either uh distract our minds or to just keep going but I think that something that I'm learning especially for this year is I kind of just need to be still just take a minute to talk to God or maybe listen to a podcast I love and highly recommend the transformation churches um podcast because they are such great sermons um they're doing like a new series for the new year and that one like really spoke to me so i think that you guys would really enjoy that um i can kind of talk about that maybe in like next week's video if you guys are looking for like a good christian podcast i definitely would recommend that because that one has helped me so much um they have a series called planted not buried and that one is like insane that one is so good and it will 100% change your outlook on things and change your mindset. Um, I have like one more of the podcast from that series to go. I think it's like an eight part series and I just love it so much. So I definitely would recommend that. But I don't want to make like the, the end of these video like little devotional things like super long. I kind of just want it to be like short and sweet. Um, so I hope you guys kind of like enjoyed that. Um, and some weeks I probably will just put like a Bible verse at the end of the video. Um, depending on it because I don't really want these to feel forced like I want it to feel like it's actually coming from my heart and I want to feel like it's something that um, I really want to talk to you guys about so if I just like don't have something that's on my heart for that week I probably will just put like a Bible verse but yeah I just wanted to remind you guys that in the midst of a storm you know that quote in the midst of a storm just kind of like relax and breathe and know that God is our peace and I think that that's something that I definitely want to work on for this year is to just stop freaking out and to stop distracting my mind with like things like if I'm stressed out to stop distracting my mind with TV and to just like sit and listen to God and see what he has to say to me. So um, this is almost the end of the video. I'm going to show you guys the ASMR clip but I'm going to end the video off here. So I love you guys and I hope this was helpful to you all. And I really hope you guys enjoyed my bridal shower video. I'm so sad I didn't get more footage. Looking back, I feel like I should have vlogged so much more. But um, like I mentioned, it was just crazy. There was like so many people. I think we had like 35 people. So I was just trying to like chat with everyone and whatnot. But I love you guys. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.